Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I did my last one. Um, you join me here tonight. On my way to Portman. Hopefully going to get there for sunset. Uh, sunset this evening is at uh, 10 past 10. Um, hopefully it should be a good one. It's been beautiful weather all day. Um, it's been 20, like 22 degrees. Um, so hopefully that continue, the weather continues to sunset. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good one. So Portman Boffey and Portman and everything like that, somewhere where I haven't really taken any photographs before. Um, so that's going to be a first time for me. Um, I've seen quite a few pictures from the area before, um, but hopefully I'll be able to do the area justice. Uh, it's a beautiful place and thankfully there's not too many people about, um, so it should be a good evening. I get to enjoy it all to myself. Portland Boffey, uh, it's typically only accessible by a canoe, um, but I'm not actually going to the Boffey itself, I'm just going to the cliffs above it, look down upon it. Um, those cliffs are part of the, the Causeway Coast here in Northern Ireland, and one of the best, I, by a bit biased probably, but one of the best views in the world I would say. Um, so if you're thinking of coming to Northern Ireland, it's definitely one place to uh, come and visit. You should definitely check it out. Alright, so it's uh, Portman's about a 20 minute walk away from the, the car park or so. Um, the car park's just a uh, sign posted just opposite Giant's Causeway there, holding up the road a little bit. Um, I'd say the walk is reasonably easy, um, but if you struggle with um, uphill and downhill a lot, and, um, gravel paths and that sort of thing, I wouldn't recommend you um, try it if you're not into that sort of thing or anything like that. Um, and yeah, so only really come if you're fit enough to do it. Um, as you can pro as you can see, um, the coastline round here absolutely spectacular. Um, so that's that coastline. Uh, it's absolutely spectacular. Um, that's just round the corner from uh, Portman Buffy. I uh, haven't actually quite reached there yet, but if that's anything to go by, we're in for a quality sunset. Alright guys, so we've just arrived here now at uh, Portman, as you can see, I don't know if you can uh, see it. I think I'm just going to go to the top of this cliff edge here, and probably set up from there. Right, so I don't know at the moment if you can hear me at all, um, but at the moment I'm just sort of going for a flare shot at the moment. Um, a flare up there coming over the top of the mountain there. Um, I'm going to do a stitch of these images um, just to get the foreground in colour and then uh, the top in colour as well. But uh, Alright, so I've just left the camera set up, uh, left the rock for about a minute and a half. I've come slightly away from it because um, it's slightly less windy out here, um, so you might actually be able to hear me. Um, but I'm going to leave that going for another few watts. 10-15 minutes because um, it's still t it's 10 past 9 at the moment so there's still an hour an hour until sunset. I'm going to see what the light does, see what it develops and things like that and hopefully we'll be getting a good sunset, nice orange colours and uh, it'll all be nicely lit up um, and that'll be hopefully the case. Currently I'm trying to get um, just like the the flare over the top of the cliff um, hopefully it'll light up and it'll, uh, the rays will like spill over the edge of the cliff and go down as uh, such kind of fills the in a little bit, hopefully I'll open it into a nice image. Um, currently, absolutely nobody else around, um, so I've got this whole beautiful sunset, uh, sunset scenery to myself. So, what more could you ask for? Alright, guys, uh, hopefully, you can still hear me. Um, so, currently, I've got the camera settings on a one one hundred one one thousandth of a second uh, with the aperture at f1. Sun coming over the cliffs there. Um, 
So it's currently the image is moving is quite nice. Um, sunset. Um, unfortunately there's not very many clouds in the sky um, so that could be one of the downfalls of the photo I'm afraid. Um, there's not much interest in the sky um, so I'm just going to have to be careful with the rim and then hopefully uh, most of the interesting uh, features of the photo are going to be in the foreground of it not in the, in the sky. Um, so hopefully it should be all good and uh, we'll see how we get on. Probably have to change settings a few bit later on, but um, we'll see what happens when it comes to it. So uh, it's getting closer to sunset now. Um, hopefully, you can see the what's happening behind. There's still no clouds about in the sky, which is a shame. Um, which is quite uncommon for Northern Ireland, if I'm honest. Um, but the sunset's probably going to happen in the next uh, half an hour or so. Um, but it's looking like the list location, um, the colour and stuff from sunset isn't actually going to get into the, the picture itself. Birds and stuff flying about, so hopefully I've managed to catch some of those in the photo as well, which would be good. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you the, the buffet right now. As you can see, the the sun's not really going to colour up that buffet at all. Um, this location probably more suited to a, a sunrise, I would say. Um, which would then light up the cliffs and things like that. Um, so I'm going to head on around the corner, um, just up here. Um, there's another there's another cliff just up around there, which uh, hopefully will give another um, nice view as well. Um, then that also it's got um, it'll be facing towards the sunset, so hopefully I'll give a much better view as well and and more color. Alright, so I've just arrived at the, the second location there, um, things are looking much, much better. Um, not a clue what this bay slash cliffy cove area is called, um, but it's still on the Giants Causeway coast. Um, you can see the sun setting this time, it's setting just off to the side of a cliff, it's looking absolutely amazing. Um, so it should be some nice colours going on to the sides of the cliffs there as the sun's going down. Uh, I've set up the camera again, um, go and set it up for uh, some photos, a minute and a half each time going by. Um, I'm currently on 1 250th of a second, f.3.5 and ISO 88 again. It's looking really nice, everything's really sharp in the image. Um, when I get into the light room I should be able to bring all the colours back out again. Uh, slightly underexposed it, um, so I can retain the detail in the sky. Um, because I'm using a Sony A7 Mark II, I'm able to retain a lot of the information in the shadows and bring those out again in the light room. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm uh, currently looking at, um, so that's the camera down there, and of course we're getting right there. Um, if I spin round, <laughs> the views just keep getting better, I have to say. Um, the views around here is absolutely stunning. Um, and it's actually scandalous that Northern Ireland has this many good views in one like location. If you look over there, there's uh, it's also Rathlin Island. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully in the the near future, I'll um, hopefully be uh, planning to do a trip over to uh, Rathlin Island at some point. Um, there's some nice lighthouses out there that look out uh, with nice surrounding cliffs and things like that and are absolutely stunning at sunset. Uh, the one thing about Rathlin Island is you're not allowed your car and you're not allowed to camp. Um, so there's a lot of planning has to be involved in that, a lot of walking. Uh, so I'll probably have to stay in a hostel or a hotel over there or something like that. Um, you can hire bikes, um, so I might possibly do that as well. Um, so hopefully Maybe some point this summer, um, summer 2019, I'll get out there over to Rafflin as well. Um, in the next few weeks as well, I plan to also go up the Mourne Mountains, um, which is down in County Down, uh, Northern Ireland. Um, absolutely stunning areas 
uh, there as well. So I'll hopefully be camping there for maybe three or four days. And uh, hopefully get some amazing shots. And hope I've got quite a list of things I want to do in the mornings while I'm there. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to carry those out. Um, one of the big things I really want is an absolutely cracking sunset or sunrise with a cloud inversion over the mountains rolling by. That would be that's one of my dreams in photography to get and capture. So if I got that, that would be amazing. Um, but obviously you can't guarantee that, and the weather needs to be spectacular as well for that to happen. Um, so a lot of things have to come into play there, but hopefully I'll be able to do that in the next few weeks. Sunset is fast approaching. It's uh, now five past ten. It's five minutes until the sun sets completely. Um, things are looking really good. Um, getting some nice colours in the sky. Unfortunately, there's still no clouds as such. Um, it looks like there could be some noctilent cloud clouds tonight, um, which would be really cool as I've never captured them or seen them. I've just seen them in other people's photos. So that would be awesome if they did appear. Um, looking like those could appear, which would be really, really cool. Um, they only really appear, they're just um, water up in the stratosphere turning into ice and then it's reflecting the sun's rays and stuff so that would be really really cool um it's basic you suppose you could call it the summer's northern lights and uh, most people would seem to call it that uh, which would be really really cool and um, probably even better than clouds if i'm honest um at the moment the sun's just setting um it's looking something out of like the lion king or something like that with the sun going down yeah it's quite nice not gonna lie absolutely nobody else around to see this uh, it's great, um, so I can't complain really. Um, so hopefully from tonight I've managed to get maybe two, three images, um, maybe four if the noctilent cloud things uh, start to appear out as well. Um, so yeah, it's looking quite nice. Um, you could always blame the weather for not being able to take good photos, but then at the same time it's also people like, it's not the equipment, it's not the weather, it's the photographer that makes the photos. Um, so if a photo if you can't get a photo out of anything, then really, I have to say it's the photographer that's not doing the job right. Uh, so you need to go back to the drawing board and learn how to do things again. So I should probably tell guys, I haven't done a vlog in quite a long time. Um, obviously I'm trying a lot of new things tonight. Uh, I've changed locations and things like that quite a few times. Um, trying a lot of new shots and things like that. Um, hopefully they add a little bit better quality to the, the vlogs of recent. I'm also filming this now on my second camera so hopefully the quality is a lot better as well and things are in focus. Um, I also hope that um, I'm not just focused on random things in the photos and I'm actually showing in the videos what I'm actually looking at and not looking at just a piece of the random piece of the ground um, which to be honest you don't really need to see the ground. Um, hopefully the quality is better and everything like that. Um, so if you would like to see more of these vlogs, I probably want to start making more vlogs as I quite enjoy doing them um, and then also getting more confident and walking about with the camera as well. Um, so if you want to see more of these vlogs and things like that, just give us a like or leave a comment in the comments section below. Or even better, you could just give it, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me the encouragement and support that I need to continue to make uh, making these videos. Um, so that would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you like these different style shots and things like that. Um, obviously I've taken a little bit of inspiration from other YouTubers and photography YouTubers and like that. Um, so hopefully that's paid off in the long run and it leads to a better quality video as well. Um, so hope you really like these and the sunset's just happening now. It's just going below the, the horizon line. Um, so things are just beginning to wrap up. Um, so I'll show the final photos here at the end and then uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in another vlog sometime soon. So thanks for watching, subscribe if you liked it, like the video as well, comment below if you've got any tips or if you like the photos and you want to see more from me, that would be greatly appreciated and I hope to see you guys in another video. See ya!